Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about time complexities. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, in your opinion, should we in most cases or all cases try to get the code to work before optimizing for time complexity? Always make sure that the code works because nothing else is more important. Performance doesn't matter at all, uh, usually. Uh, well, it depends a little bit on the sort of system, but there is this perspective that I really found to be very useful, and I'm going to give, hopefully, be able to relay my thoughts on this in a way that makes you see see it the way that I see it. So, time complexity. Now, the reason why we have that as part of our sphere of like how we look at things is because, you know, performing code is a good thing, right? Because if we're going to do something, especially if we're going to do something really heavy, we want to make sure that that is as fast as possible because it takes time, computation resources, which equals money and so forth and so forth. But if you think about it, there is this term that we lovely lady likes to say call throw money at the problem so a company such as I think it was Twitter who used to work with Ruby right so if a company like that can scale and become a massive super success with tons and tons and tons of money and I've actually worked for other companies who are working with a lot of languages that are just by default less performant than most like then there are like there are come there are languages out there that are much 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 faster and like if you, you wanted to have the biggest return on investment for lines lines of code to computation power required to ex execute that code there are many better bets than sp these this these sorts of languages right but that doesn't really matter because the company is making millions and millions and millions and millions and millions I'll do you one better. If you write the world's most performant and optimized version of whatever algorithm you're working on, and you put that on a computer from the 80s versus a modern day computer, even an unoptimized version of your algorithm is probably going to be faster because the computer is more powerful. And so that's the reason why it's more important that it works because time complexity is for optimizing for something but that something is working well that's a hard requirement for everything you're doing if it doesn't do the thing it's supposed to be doing then what's the point it's the same thing with anything i mean um, the you know if uh, if you're a, if you if you do a lot of camping you probably should, will realize that uh, this that a lot of the stuff that you have in your life as a you know in modern society are just conveniences that save you time from having to you know make fire with a stick or you know fish with your bare hands out of the water you invent better and better tools to help you get a more convenient, more efficient process, etc, etc. But at the end of the day, what matters is, does it work or not? That's it. Because if, I mean, I can spend my life in the woods and survive, but if I don't f know how to make fire, find water, or like these sorts of things, I will die. So it's more important that I know how to do that than that I have, like, you know, an optimized version of doing the wrong thing, if that makes sense. So what I want you to take away from this is that never ever focus on time complexity until you can verify that the thing you are making is working. This is especially true in interviews, things like that, because most times the the important part is that you can solve the problem and then reason about how you can optimize it because once you have solved the problem even if it's not the best solution in the world it is still providing value and I try to tell that to a lot of developers because a lot of software developers that I work with they are mentally unsatisfied and unhappy if they can't create a perfect solution to something even when their business like all the people in the company they praise them and they're like super happy that oh this thing is working and they go and all the software developers are always like negative nances and going yeah but it's really ugly and this is bad and this is bad and I kind of go dude you are getting praised by people the people that you made the code for think it's great why are you not happy 
Well, I'll tell you why. Because you are a perfectionist. And it's okay to be a perfectionist because just as with any artist, I don't think there's a single painter or musician who's created something that became really popular who just went, yeah, everything here is perfect. No. As a creator of something, you will always see the flaws. But as the consumer of the thing that somebody has created, well, sometimes you, well, everybody's a critic, of course, but the important part is, did this thing that you made bring value? And the time complexity, sure, if that is the most important thing, try to focus on that. But correctness of what is happening in the code is the prerequisite for everything else. Without that, your code is pointless. Have a great day.